Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be trying a little bit of uh, DIY, so stick with us. What are we doing? So I'm trying to stop my PC from essentially cooking me. So this is my shed, but as you can see, we have no windows. Sorry about the grainy footage. All I have is my aging iPhone 10 to film on. Um, so this is the shed, completely enclosed, obviously except for the door, but I like to keep the door closed. Now, that PC over there, kicks out around three to 400 watts of heat continuously. Ignore all this ducting running up the wall. That was a failed attempt to get air out of the room from the PC. Um, I need to decommission that today at some point. So what we're doing, we're gonna move the PC from this corner of the shed over to this gap here. Now the plan is the PC is gonna run sideways against that back wall. And we're gonna drill some holes into this wall to essentially duct the hot air from the PC straight out of the shed into the adjoining shed next door. So this is a dividing wall the shed is divided into. So we've got my hole cutting saw here. <laughs> We're gonna try and bore some holes and see if I can not make a terrible, terrible mess of it. All right, so here is the PC in its, what is hopefully gonna be its new position. And obviously over here now is just a giant gap with a load of cables that I will need to reroute. That should be fun. Anyway, we've got this stuff here. Now this is going to be what is going to get the air out of the PC case. So we've got a 120 mil fan that you can see we've got little screws that go in here, here, here and here. We'll take those screws out, pop this on top, screw through, sandwich it to the case. And then we will attach some piping to it, but obviously not this giant length. I will cut it to size. Um, also got this 90 degree bend. So if you sort of imagine it like that, and then it will go through into the hole I bore into the wall. Similarly, right on the back of the case, I have a second one of these to go on the exhaust, and we'll just have a very short run of pipe through the hole in the wall. All right, so we're back. I have screwed on these ducting plates onto the PC on both exhaust fans. Um, some of you might be wondering why I don't have any intake fans. On this case in particular, it works off the principles of negative pressure so it only has exhaust fans therefore air kind of gets sucked in from the case from obviously that grill you can see there but also through things like the PCI Express slots that actually makes a massive difference now probably you wouldn't want to run a 4090 like this but for my level of components it's absolutely fine um, testing by other youtubers has confirmed that adding two front fans to this case basically makes no difference because it's already drawing all the air it can anyway through the principles of negative pressure and the fans basically make no difference. Anyway, so what the plan is, we've got these bits of tube that I've cut to size. I say tube, ducting, they just sort of fit on. Put this one onto here. We have a right angle piece that slots in there. And then finally, this one kind of push fits on top, very hard to do one-handed and if we sort of push the PC case back around to where it needs to be, there we go, you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here. So the idea is, is that the PC draws in air from the room and chucks it straight out into next door, which I don't mind if that gets hot, but I'd much rather I didn't in here. So now we've got the uh, piping cut to size. I'm going to basically draw a little uh, pencil line around where it meets the wall and get the hole cutter out and start boring some holes. Wish me luck. All right, that's nearly one whole board. Um, just got one more to go. This is way harder than I thought. So I've actually got a beam running right through where I decided to drill the hole, which is a bit annoying. It's not structural, so it's fine. We can go through it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna hold us up a little bit. I will report back when we have both holes bored and we'll uh, stitch all this stuff together. <sighs> right, okay, we've got two holes bored, as you can see. the. Uh, the scene of the uh, incident here. There's lots of rubbish and stuff to clear up. So we're gonna have both of those pipes coming out of the PC, going into those two holes there and there. Up here, we have a general extraction fan, and over here, we've got an intake of fresh air. So I'm hoping that the fans that do the extraction and bringing in the fresh air can have a little bit of an easier time of it if the three to 400 watts of heat that is kind of continually bellowing out of the PC is going next door, where, you know, is the other side of the shed where I don't really care if it gets hot. So, right, let's clean up and get the PC back where it should be. All 
Oh, all right, it's finally done. Much, uh, much cable management uh, later, we are here, and the PC's now been running for several hours, um, doing some gaming for most of that, and we're now sat at around 26 degrees in here. Now, prior to us doing all of this work, we would have been probably 30, 31. I mean, I had it go as high as 34 the other day um, under similar circumstances. So I think we can say this is uh, a bit of a success. It looks a little bit strange. I'm definitely getting nuclear reactor vibes from uh, what's going on here, but it works. I'm not necessarily sure I'd recommend this as a solution to uh, to others, but it does seem to be working. Now, it may be as we get into hotter days in the summer, it may be an air conditioner needs to be considered. I don't have one yet, but it is maybe on the cards. But I figured if this PC is chucking out three, 400 watts of heat during gaming, then that heat is going straight next door and not in here. Now I've got this fan up here that's got a one of those inline extraction fans on the other side of the wall, kind of like getting bathrooms to kind of suck steam out of shower rooms, stuff like that. So we've got hot air going out of the room, just air that comes off of the PC, the lights, the monitors, and I guess to an extent me. And then I've got one over here where I've got fresh air being drawn into the room. So given that all the heat from this PC is now exiting the room, these fans kind of don't have to deal with that. They don't have to fight against it. And similarly, if we were to buy an air conditioner, that air conditioner isn't constantly working against a three to 400 watt output of heat constantly. So therefore it could be cheaper to run. And given the uh, electricity prices here in the UK at the moment, that's no bad thing at all. Anyway, a bit of a strange uh, solution to a strange problem. This is all pretty edge case stuff, I'm well aware. Um, but hopefully you found it interesting. Sorry for the rubbish quality of the video and the audio. Um, like I say, I'm just filming on my iPhone 10, just doing what I can with what I've got uh, at the moment. Don't really have any fancy cameras. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching indeed. Please like and subscribe. Um, we are trying to grow the channel at the moment, so any support is massively appreciated. And uh, Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever done anything weird like this. I'd love to hear from you. And um, I'll follow up in a few weeks. I think, you know, we're only a couple of days in, um, or a day in, in fact. So time will tell on this one, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on this one. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and I will see you in the next video.